Everything that you encounter, right? Going on the road, and, and uh, oh, it's not yeah. the first time anymore. Yeah, I mean, not the first time. Kind of just settling in now, so it's just uh, just another business trip. When you do go on that trip and you're going into a new stadium, what are the types of things that you look for, and, and how do you put yourself at ease? I mean, I just really try to, um, you know, get on the field, uh, take that in, and then after that, you just try to, you know, focus on your job and try to execute the game plan. What's special this week in terms of either something you've noticed from Louisville uh, on film or the game plan? Uh, they're very athletic up front. Um, you know, they got a great pass rush, so uh, I'm going to have to be smart about getting rid of the ball, and, um, you know, the big guys up front are going to have to do a good job of trying to maintain blocks. You hear as uh, quarterbacks are developing, they've got to be aware of the rush but not look at it, yeah. right? Where are you in that learning curve? Um, really, Florida State, I kind of noticed myself in film looking down. Uh, so usually when I look down, that's, that's not good. So um, hopefully just, you know, feel it out and uh, just play it. Is there a sense of urgency that you're feeling, like in terms of the margin for error not being as great as it was earlier in the season, in terms of bowl eligibility, is there a sense of urgency that you uh, I feel a sense of urgency every week. You know, you really just try to go get a win every week. Um, so um, I'd say, yeah, I mean, there's always a sense of urgency to get a win. Coach Lester said that the last game is probably the fastest game you've played in this year. Mm -hmm. um, talk about what you learned from that and how you bring that forward. It was, I mean, it was definitely nice to have, you know, a game where it's kind of like a reality shock, you know. Um, so I just really uh, went in, started focusing on, you know, what I was doing wrong, what I can get better at, and um, that was the biggest thing. I mean, Florida State, they were a great team, fast, athletic, and um, it, was a, it was a tough, tough Surprise game. Surprised you? Uh, no, it didn't surprise me. Um, they were just, they were just <laughs> uh, fast and making plays, so uh, I, didn't, I didn't do my part, and uh, it showed. How difficult was it every time you looked downfield? You kind of they have your receivers blanketed, and then you have to make another read or something. How, how good were their cornerbacks in, in coverage? They were good. Um, at times, it almost seemed like they were holding because I mean, there were no one was open at times. But um, other than that, um, you really just got to get from one read to another and uh, try to keep your eyes downfield the whole time. Do you guys feel like obviously you're playing for yourselves, but do you feel like you're kind of playing for Coach Schaefer and his staff too at this point with all the talks rolling about? I mean, we've always been playing for Coach Schaefer and all this coaching staff ever since I got here. I mean, that's who I'm playing for. Um, I love Coach Schaefer, love Coach Lester, and all these guys. So we're all just really, you know, we're a family and playing for each other and playing for one another. A couple more questions for Eric. Are you aware of all the of the talk? You know. Starting to in, in the community about whether you know he stays, goes, whatever. Um, not really. I mean, I really uh, would not um, really talk. I don't really ever see that. So um, I'm really just focused on the season as of right now.